Okay, so it looks like uh, MOV has just lost to Ricky. And oh, wow. Ricky will face Mongo next. Now, was that winners? I think that's losers. Wow. So M MOV is gone? Is that what you're, uh, what you're telling me? I guess so. Wait. Wow. Uh, I know that Mongo was in losers. Top level players are just are falling all over the place Dropping here. Like As we move here. from uh, our top 120 players left down to top uh, 32 or top 16. I'm not sure what we're going down to. We'll find out, I guess. But now it's uh, Momi, Feilong against Snake Eyes, Zangief now in the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Tournament in the finals. Ben, uh, Snake Eyes happened to get matched up against Fudo, Fei. Mm. And Fudo... Uh, sent him to losers and then eliminated him later. Snake Eyes did the best of any American player. Uh, but in that process, he said he really realized he didn't understand the Faye matchup and that he would go back and really investigate it. I haven't seen him play against a top level Faye since then, so I'm really interested to see what he does differently. See what he has discovered in the lab. Go to a training room lab. Certainly his reactions and sense of spacing. As far as Zangief uh, footsies, I think he has this, the best Geef footsies in the world. Mm -hmm. oh. Hmm, came in from the front there, but still with that life lead, that human meat shield that is Zangief, really after he whittles you away with that 60 damage medium punch, it's really born on the opponent to come in, and Feilong really doesn't have any that many tools because the uh, blocked Rekka is at least minus 4, and Zangief can punish appropriately with that chest slap. Yeah, you can see once Geef had a significant life advantage, he was no longer jumping, he was just playing in the footsie game, he was just hanging out. Mm -hmm. And that's that's how he can play. He can kind of play defensively once he has the life lead. He's not, you know, he's a grappler, quote unquote. But that doesn't mean that that's all of his options. He can play. He can play defense. Oh, that's gonna get grabbed. Very nice presence of mind for Snake Eyes to see that he was within range. Oh, max range on that crouching short. Nice. I love these little baby jumps that Snake Eyes is making. He's not over committing. Yep. Reading the uh, depth perception. Amomi, should I up fire uppercut? Should I not? And by then, he's already landed. Gonna get grabbed, yep. Grab the landing frames there. Oh, that's Again. Nice hit confirm. Yeah, he hasn't missed a confirm yet. Snake Eyes is looking so good. Oh, this could be the start of things. Nope, didn't oh. turn into much. Yeah, the hitbox on uh, Lariat is empty in the middle. So whenever you see a player menacing with focus attack, it's sometimes a safe option to go for the Lariat, and they will run, run themselves into it, really, and they can't touch it with their focus attack. Momo, Momi doesn't seem uh, too upset about it. It's just, eh, we'll see how he does. So uh, what differences have you noticed from the 25th anniversary to the Snake Eyes that we're seeing right now? In the he, he went in harder. He okay. went in harder against uh, Faye before. And he didn't know certain things. He didn't know about punishability of Rekka. He didn't know about uh, you can punish EX Rekka second hit with Ultra 1 if you're Geese. Uh, so yes, just you can. little things like that. And I think you can see the just the sense of spacing that he has is uh, is very strong. Let's get started. Fight. Former Street Fighter 2 HD Remix oh. Evo winning player, in fact, with Zangief Snake Eyes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he, he converted into Street Fighter 4. He was originally Street Fighter 2. Goes back to the front and then just doesn't overcommit. You see him wait there? Mm -hmm. He was just waiting to confirm that Momi was in fact still on the ground. This wow, time he goes in for the big one. one. That's that 250. Heavy. Look at that round by Snake Eyes. Deadly play. Momi is on the ropes. This is loser's bracket. Momi almost gone. Oh, didn't get the last hit. I want to get sent back in a body bag to Amsterdam. Oh, nice trade. Zangief, one of the few characters that you cannot just chicken wing on. You, you, you can just PPP on reaction. Not a very difficult thing to do. Oh, no grab there. Nice. All these ambiguous jumping ins by Snake Eyes. Now, this is where it gets difficult for Zangief when he does not have the life lead and he has to chase around Phelon. Well, he's, he's, he is convincing Momi to walk backwards. Yeah. I don't think that Momi needs to be doing that. I think no, he's going no, a little sorry. bit uh, too too lightly in pressure right now. But one jab Rekka can push one all the way back. And it's really a tug of war of distance right here. And he went to it again. And now Rekka's become very risky with Ultra 1. Oh, 
Oh, just he went in for it. You see him dancing. waiting there? Yep. I like that though, that he it doesn't do it every time. Almost reminiscent of Tekken, Ooh, where the players the just dance in near each other and don't press a button, but it's so tense, this situation. We're seeing that display here in this matchup. Oh, Geef can just play defense here. I don't think he needs to go in, and I, he's recognized that. Yep, he just gets the anti-air. He plays oh. patiently. A little bit too late! This is a chance now for Moby. Maybe we'll see what he gets. Oh, 12 seconds left. Grab. There yep. it is. Yep. Moby is eliminated. One of Europe's best. Out of the Netherlands, I believe, and he, he's he's gone. So Snake Eyes out of Southern California moves on.